Hello, so in today's video, I wanted to go through the new Cinti animation asset and how you can add it into your project and how you can actually use it with all of their other packs as well. So the first thing you're going to want to do before you even import the um, Unity package is you want to make sure you've got a project that's on Unity 2021 or above and has the new input system uh, installed and available. So I've got a project here. This is just a blank um, 3D URP template. And I'm going to go over to the Unity registry and search for input system. And we'll let that install. And it will need to restart the project once it's installed. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. OK, so the editor has restarted and that's uh, all installed. So now we're going to drag in the locomotion asset. So we've got our animation based locomotion here. So let's just drop that into the project. And you can see here um, it comes with quite a lot of animations, both masculine and feminine. Um, as well as two demo scenes. So I'm just going to hit import. So now that's imported, you can see that we've got a Cinti folder here. So let's uh, find the demo scene. So under samples, uh, scenes, and demo01, we can open this up. And this is all pink because I'm using the universal render pipeline. So we're going to want to come over here and we can select these pink materials in the material folder. We'll go up to edit rendering materials and convert select built-in materials to URP and we'll hit uh, proceed and you can see that that's fixed that pink issue and because we installed the input system they actually have uh, a third person controller set up already um, on this player so if we hit play you can see just like that we can run around the scene and we've got an animated uh, character here with all the correct collisions so you can, uh, we can strafe we can run left and right and we've got the jump so that's the first step and um, you can see we've got this character kind of out of the box ready to go it's all set up and um, so that in itself having a working third person controller uh, is quite just handy and just extra value added let's have a look at the actual animations included in the pack so if we just come out of play mode and we go over to our scenes and we've got gallery 01 and it's saying we're going to need to import tmp essentials so i'll do that shrink that it looks like we might have some pink here so what's this default material okay so this is a built-in uh, unity material we i can't there's no way to select this in the project to actually you know come up here and go to rendering uh, we can't convert that so let's try window rendering uh, render pipeline converter. We'll turn on the read only material converter and we can initialize and convert. And there we go. That has solved that issue. So deselect that. So we can see the kind of range of animations here. So we've got a uh, walk animation, both on flat ground and on a ramp going up and down. We've missed that, it doesn't look like it's looping, but that's a sprint to crouch. You've got the stop running, stop walking, strafe, strafing, start walking, turns while standing. But how do we use this with another character that isn't a um, test dummy? How do we actually use one of the Cinti packs and integrate these animations with the Cinti pack? So I'm going to come out of play here and we'll drag up the project window. And I've downloaded the Apocalypse uh, Unity package, so I'll drag this into my Assets folder. Okay, so that has uh, installed. We've got a Polygon Apocalypse pack here. Uh, I'm going to need to extract the URP um, materials, so we could just do that. Now, with that, if we go over to Scenes, and we've got... Um, let's have a look. We have our... Demo city here. It's a nice big wide open city. Um, but there's no character or player in this. So we're going to go back over to our demo scene in our um, locomotion pack. And we're going to select our player here. And we're going to want to hit uh, overrides and apply all to this PF underscore player. And then now, if we go back to our Polygon Apocalypse scene and we go to the uh, demo 
city and we go to our PF player prefabs, we can drag our player in and you can see that we've got our player and the Cinti camera here. And that's set up with all of the relevant fields and references. And if we hit play, we've got our uh, character running around the city. But we want to get it away from this crash test dummy and use one of the uh, characters. So we've got our PF player here, and it's quite a, an involved process, but bear with me, I can walk you through it. So if we go over to our prefabs for Polygon Apocalypse and to characters, um, there's a range of different ones here. I'm going to use the Scout, so I can drag that in here just underneath our PF player prefab, and you're going to see that this has an animator, but it's got some extra stuff as well. And this is our uh, test dummy one from the animations. But our character scout just has the animator. So we're going to need to copy some things over. So uh, I'm going to click on um, Cinti player lock at and target lock on pause. So I'm just going to get these. I'm going to right click copy. And we're going to select our character scout female and control V to paste them. And we'll drag them onto our scout female. So they are now here. Um, you can see the Cinti player look at is a game object that's up here. And the target lock on pause is one down here. And then we can close up our prefab for the scout. And I'm now going to, uh, I'm just going to deactivate the Cinti character, um, which is the test on me. And I'm going to click on the three dots here and I'm going to um, click on properties. So that's going to bring up uh, a locked version of this uh, Polygon Cinti character panel, the test on me. I'm going to click back over to our scout and you can see now we've got um, our scouts inspector loaded up here. So we're going to want to copy uh, these over and we need to be careful that some of these fields get reassigned so if I come to our character controller I can click copy on the Cinti character and click paste component is new over here on our scout and with the input reader I'm going to copy and click paste component is new and if you notice you can't right click anywhere below add component um, you have to click on uh, sort of the title of a different component and then click on paste component as new. So we've got our input reader there. And the next one, the main one for the actual controller is this sample player animation controller. So if we right click, copy component, paste component as new. And you'll see this is copied over, but it's copied the references for um, our test dummy, which we don't want. Um, so we need to drag input reader here into input reader. And you can see that's now uh, our scout. Uh, character controller down to uh, controller here. And the animator can go down to animator here. Rear ray and front ray, um, they're not actually attached to this character here, they are here, front ray pause and rear ray pause, so that's fine. Um, so we should be able to delete this deactivated test dummy now. And then if we click on PF underscore Cinti camera, you can see that our Cinti character is now missing. And we just have to redrag our scout over to this Cinti character. Now, player target and lock on target, they're found automatically in the code. Um, by using find Cinti player underscore look at and target lock on pause, which we have here. So that's why we copied them over. Um, and the last thing we want to do before we hit play is on the animator for our scout. If we um, click this button here and then we can search for our feminine um, animation controller. And fingers crossed, if we hit play, that should all be working. And there we have it. We've got our scout. She's got the feminine um, controller on. 
makes her run a little bit uh, daintily with her arms like this. Maybe we want the masculine one. Um, we can try that one. So uh, masculine. And if we hit play again, we've now got our masculine uh, controller working here as well. And we can see that, you know, we can interact with the environment. So that's how you can get the uh, basic locomotion Cinti pack working with a Cinti character uh, using their built-in character controller. Obviously, if you've got your own animation controller, uh, you won't need to do that sort of last step with the copy and the components over. Um, but yeah, that there we have it. We have our controller working and we can run around the city. But yeah, that is everything for this video. I Hope it was useful. Uh, if you're getting into the basic locomotion pack and you've got some of the other Cinti assets, that is how you can um, integrate it into your other characters. But yeah, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.